Dear students, uh, in this lecture, we will discuss about damped harmonic oscillator. In the last lecture, we have discussed about free or undamped harmonic oscillator. According to the definition, the oscillation of such oscillator continues forever with a constant amplitude and constant frequency. But please remember that there is only one force of action and that is restoring force. In case of damped harmonic oscillator, the amplitude of oscillations decay or decrease with respect to time. This is happening in the presence of air or other resistive medium. The energy of the oscillator is used in doing work against the resistance of the medium. Hence, such motion is called damp motion. The opposing or resistive forces needed to do some work against the resistive medium is proportional to the velocity of the oscillator. In mathematical form, we can write F equals minus gamma V, which is, uh, this V is nothing but the velocity, rate of change of displacement. And uh, gamma is a positive constant called a damping coefficient of the medium. In this case, there are two forces actually acting on the oscillator. One is uh, elastic restoring force and uh, the second is uh, damping force. So in, it means in the case of damped harmonic oscillator, there are two forces acting on the oscillator. Uh, but in the case of simple harmonic oscillator, as we have discussed on the last, last slide, there is only one force and that is restoring force. Now suppose a one-dimensional harmonic oscillator which is moving under the action of damping force. And here is a, a damping spring mass system in which uh, oscillating mass dips in a viscous medium. And the oscillating mass is executing oscillations in this medium, but the amplitude of its oscillations decrease progressively up to zero because such system having oscillations decrease progressively up to zero, this is called damped harmonic oscillator. Now to write the equation of motion for such system, because there are two forces acting on the system. One is restoring force and the second is damping force. For restoring force, F equals minus Kx is the equation of motion. And for the damping force, we have F equals minus gamma V. Now, according to the Newton's second law, summation of all forces equals ma, which further can be written like m second derivative of x equals minus gamma dx over dt, this term, minus kx, this term, which further can be simplified like second derivative of x with respect to t plus gamma over m dx over dt plus k over m x equals zero, where gamma over m is nothing but uh, two beta and k over m we can replace by omega naught scale. This is now we have second order differential equation where omega naught scale equals k or m is the natural frequency of oscillating particle in the absence of damping. And uh, you know, two beta equals gamma or m. The relaxation time tau can further be written like tau equals one over two beta, which further equals m over gamma. Now suppose the solution of the equation is x equals a e power alpha t, where alpha and t both are arbitrary constant. Now by taking the first order and second order derivative of this equation, we get these two equations. And by putting these two equations in equation two, we get alpha square plus two beta alpha plus omega naught square equals zero. You can see this is quadratic equation in alpha. Now, by solving this differentially uh, quadratic equation, we get two roots, alpha equals minus beta plus minus beta square minus omega naught square under root. One root with positive sign and the second root with negative sign. The equation two must be satisfied by the following th these two values. Hence, the solution would be x equals a e power this term with positive sign you can see here. And the second term would be x equals a e power with this term where you can see minus sign. Hence, the general solution of the differential equation would be x equals a1 e power this term plus a2 e power this term. Now, next we will apply different conditions. Based on that, we will check either the damping is over damped case or under damped case or critical damped case.